This evening, a new and troubling case, a little girl left in a scorching hot car. She survived, but authorities say there have already been 10 deaths this year in this country. We have already seen it. Pictures like this. The Good Samaritan in Kansas using a tire iron to save the toddler in that car. Well, tonight here, a new case. A mother who authorities say knew what she was doing, heading into a Walmart. And you're about to see the surveillance tape showing her going in and out of the store. ABC's Gio Benitez tonight with what she's now been charged with. You're looking at an Arizona woman walking into a Walmart for a little shopping. The only thing is, she's left her two-year-old in her locked car on a hot day. Listen, as someone in the parking lot sees the little girl and calls 911. Are the windows cracked? No, not at all. Does she seem in distress, like sweating? Yeah, she's really, she's sweating a lot. Mom keeps shopping for 20 minutes. Police arrive to break open the window of the car. While mom walks out of the store, officers confront her. The video blurred to comply with Arizona law. The hottest spot in that car with the doors open was 117. Recently, we tested firsthand what a hot car can do to an adult body. I'm wired up. Let's go. In just 30 minutes, my body temperature soars. 105. Wow. A child's body temperature can get dangerously high in just 10 minutes. Every year, 37 children die from heat strokes in cars. The little girl in Arizona is safe. Her mom is charged with child abuse. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.